Hey everybody, it's Kevbo Jones here with another episode of the Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. I hope everybody's doing well. It's a very quiet Wednesday afternoon for me. It has been a while since I've done a front-facing video, so it's good to see everybody out there. And I thought I would just do a quick August uh, mail day recap. It's been a pretty quiet month for me on the card end. Uh, everything's just been so crazy price-wise that uh, I've been taking what I would consider a brief pause. I'm still picking some stuff up um, quietly uh, on the down low, but uh, just had a few little things roll in. It's kind of a fun assortment of stuff, and uh, it's gonna be this is gonna be a short video, so that's why I thought that I would just uh, get out in front and say hello to everybody and see how everybody's doing. And uh, so I thought we would just get to the cards and I could show you uh, what I what I picked up. So as all you guys know, I've been uh, working on the Hall of Fame last card collection, uh, the last active card for all the Hall of Famers. Of course, baseball collector Mike gave me the great idea to do that. And I haven't been picking up too much lately because I'm whittling it down. Uh, pretty significantly and I picked up what I would consider another one of the cornerstones of uh, the project and it's a card that I've been looking for for a while but it just has real difficulty with the centering issues so I put in a bid on an auction just forgot about it and lo and behold I won um, I probably overpaid a little bit for it but I'll show you it's uh 1966 Sandy Koufax, uh, his final card is an active player. Uh, pretty exciting. Like I said, I consider this one of the uh, tent poles of this set, one of the all timers. And as you can see, um, you know, it's got pretty good uh, centering to it. Uh, this was one of the few PSA cards that I picked up this month. I'll show you one other one. But uh, 1966 top Sandy Koufax, and I just really enjoy it, and and just thought it was a great looking card. So I picked that one up, um, and then this one, my brother and I were talking last week, and I didn't expect this one to show up. Um, we both love the combo cards, and uh, I sent him this one as just one that I would consider getting. Um, based on just the condition and the grade and everything and he picked it up and sent it to me and it was just super cool but the uh, 1958 tops uh, World Series batting foes um, Mickey Mantle and Hank Aaron this is a card that I have been that I've always loved ever since I was a kid and was just super excited to pick this up. I, I love this card and, and I just think it's so cool. It showed up in like two days. I couldn't believe how fast the shipping was. It came, I think, from Indiana. And uh, it's just a pretty good card. A little off centered from top to bottom, but all in all, it just looks really great. And to have, you know, Mickey Mantle and Hank Aaron there on a card together is just super cool. So that came. Um, that was probably my most fun pickup of the month. Um, I also got uh, finally the uh, Heritage card uh, from Andrew Thiel that came. I haven't been doing too much of the Companions. This is about it for me. I got this one. Um, in that I kind of got just caught up in the, this came out around the time of the May freakout for Project 2020. So that's why I picked this up. And um, it's actually a beautiful card. I just got it this week. Um, and also I got the Mr. Cartoon 1975 card. That hasn't come yet. Um, but that's more for personal reasons that I got that card. But I'm really not doing any of the other companions. But I thought I would show you this um, in that it's like, it's pretty cool. Um, and I did not expect it to, uh, you know, I'm going to do, I guess, the little unboxing here. So this was given to me. My brother ordered two of these. He, he I didn't want to do all the signing up and everything. So this came... And it's really cool because it's got like a shine to it, um, like almost metallic. 
and I just I don't know it's just like a super cool card um, it'll be a nice little uh, nice little piece in the uh, eventual project 2020 display um, so it's it's came out not too long after the whole uh, Greg Floyd uh, thing so he's kind of hiding in there on like that little billboard but um, you know there's a look at the back and it's pretty cool and then there's you know a little certificate of authenticity thing in there um, but I just uh, I just thought I'd show this to everybody because it's pretty cool um, pretty pretty fun stuff that uh, heritage card uh, a neat little, uh, as my mother would say, a neat little keepsake. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I've got this, and I was really, really impressed. I didn't know what it was when my brother gave it to me. Because uh, I had picked this up, like I said, back, I guess, in early June. And uh, it's just fantastic. And then finally, um, I got a little bit of Project 2020 folk art. Uh, I'll, I'll just show it to you guys. It's pretty cool. I got this keychain with the with the Keith Shore uh, Bob Gibson in it. <laughs> um, it's just fantastic, and uh, on the back it says uh, "Worst baseball card ever made." So I just uh, thought I'd uh, thought I'd share that with everybody. This is actually hands. This is like done, you know, through a scan. Um, but the, uh, the keychain is actually made from a baseball and then I talked with the person who made it and then all these are hand stitched. Uh, this came from, um, a company called Stitched Baseballs and they actually, here I'll get it, they actually sent this too, which is kind of fun. Uh, they sent this magnet, um, it's like Project 2020 artist proof magnet with like the silver frame, which is pretty hilarious. Um, you know, of the I think that's the Tyson Beck Bob Gibson. So that was just like a fun little magnet that was a freebie. So anyway, this is Kevbo Jones here with the wonderful world of baseball cards. I hope everybody's doing well. And I'll see you soon. Later.